Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wondered about the history of garden gnomes? Yeah, me neither. But you know what? I did find this out. How did these little guys wind up in gardens, you ask? Well, first we have to take a little step back to ancient Rome, where the history of the garden gnome begins. Guess what? We're not gonna do that, because I got my own story, and it starts right here. If you stick around to the end, you're gonna find out exactly how I go about it. It's a little different, it's a little funky twist. My name's Jeff Moore, I'm the Northwoods Carver, and thanks for seeing what I saw. Welcome back everybody. This is another episode of the Firewood Chronicles. I'm your host with the most, Jeff Moore, Northwoods Carver, here at the Mojo Dojo, keeping it real, uh, doing some firewood carvings. Um, today we're gonna switch things out and I'm going to do something a little, well, a little different than you've seen in the past. Normally I just do firewood bears, but this time we're gonna do uh, gnomes. And uh, so we're going to take a piece of wood like this. And we're going to carve one of these guys out of it. Okay? He's just a cool little gnome. I like making them. They're fast and furious and fun. Okay, everyone, this is the, the, the rig rundown. This is what I'm going to be using to carve these unsuspecting little gnomes. <sighs> My fave, Dimmis 241. That's a 14-inch roller on there. It's been around a while. Fantastic song. Just a rickety snippy. All right, 194 with the uh, Samura, I think it's a nine on here. And my little MSA 70C, and this will be, this has the nine inch, eight inch, nine. I think it's a nine. Could be a nine. I don't know. What's the difference? Eight, nine. It's long enough. So there you go. And uh, that's all that I got. And that's I ain't got no more. Well, let's get at her, shall we? As you can see, I just kind of start off with a triangle. Those those uh, those pieces I'm using are basically halves of logs. I don't I've probably said that in this video. I've been editing it for so long, you'd think I'd know exactly what I've been saying, but honestly, can't remember. Anyways, so we're going up underneath to create the nose, and it's a very basic, simple thing. Uh, I've taught beginners how to do these, and they just love doing them. Uh, believe it or not, some people still struggle with them, even though they're basic. They're just, you know, it's just to get a specific look. You're, you know, you just gotta, you have to do a few, <laughs> or a few hundred in my case. But uh, I just like to take the um, take the saw and just, you know, I, I'm right now I'm using that little 140 to just do the little fine stuff like around the nose, put it in the lips. And then I switch back to the big saw, I believe, or the, you know, the gas-powered saw to, to uh, put in all of the beard. And, and then one of the things I really like to do, because I'm going to dry brush every single one of these, is I like to scuff the, um, scuff the, you know, the, the hat part. You know, just leave rough chainsaw marks everywhere because it picks up the paint and it just makes it look well you'll see in the end you'll see I don't know if you can tell this or not but I have um, my light I have a light directly or pretty close to being directly above me and unfortunately um, I have to have a side light otherwise it would be too dark for the camera but I like to use that light that's above my head to help me kind of draw you know it's like a, the, the wood is a piece of paper and the tip of my saw is basically like a pencil and so I like to just kind of take my lightest tool which would be like that 140 or the 120 and with my finest tip and I just kind of get in there and kind of like draw that's exactly what you're doing you're just creating shadow with 
Oh yeah, see there I, I switched out to the bass to, to the gas saw. And um, I'm just creating shadow and I'm drawing a picture so that my mind kind of I can see it, man. I can I can finally see it. And here I am in a different one, looks like. So I, I carved like 27 or I don't know. There was I thought I had 30, but I I don't count apparently. <laughs> I don't, I'm not good at math. It's not my strength. Um, but anyway, I had a lot of fun doing these, and I'll tell you, you know, anybody who knows me knows I, I don't like doing repetition, and, but in this case, honestly, I don't mind it one bit. Okay, so you're probably asking, you're probably asking yourself why I just did that, why I stuffed the crap out of it. Well, because I don't want a smooth finish. I want to have chain marks everywhere because I'm going to burn this and dry brush it. So it kind of takes the appearance of like a cloth or something. So, well, there you go. There's, there's one in the books. Now I'm going to put it in fast forward and I'm going to carve some more. So, fast footage. Now that's funny. If you seen, ever see me carve, you, there's nothing fast about it. Uh, however, you know, I can buzz one of these up pretty quick. And that makes me feel young and virile again. But uh, honestly, you can see it's so basic and simple. And uh, I just like doing these crazy little cool hats. And uh, I don't know, man. You can see them piling up in the back there. Like my peanut gallery. I just buzzed that one. Now I've got another one. And you'll just kind of... Well, the fast forward part of this just kind of blows through. You, you can see how I do certain things. And how I'll change the hat. You know, the hat program would... You know, I'll have one going to the left, one going to the right. One looks like it got like a paper airplane that hit a wall. <laughs> and then, uh, you know, just like standard hook. Then I'll just do uh, straight up and down pointy. And maybe I won't make the mustache so thin. And, you know, or maybe I'll have it come, you know, just whatever. Bigger nose, small. I mean, so when I'm doing my repetition, this is what I'm talking about. This is awesome. Hey, we're done. I'm done. Well, done for the day. I'm not done carving gnome. Not by a long shot. I love carving. So, here's a few examples. I've got a bunch more in the back. But, uh, I love carving them and it's fun for me. I, and I get to use up a lot of that, that wood that was, was just really going to be heading off to the burn pit. So, uh, here I am making a little cast on the side. Well, not on the side, but making a little cash. Uh, we've got some scraps too that are in perfect gnome shape because when you do these gnomes, you gotta make the slash, right? So then you take that little piece, flip it upside down, make a smaller gnome. That's how we roll up here in the North Woods. Well, I'm not in the North Woods. All right, anyway, uh, so stick around because we're going to be doing the paint work coming up next. So that's it, folks. Uh, at least that's it for everything up to paint. It's a dirty job, but somebody's got to do it. And uh, my wife unvolunteered herself. So there you go. Anyway, here's a, here, this is my my massive sea of gnomage and or my puddle of gnomage right here they've accumulated in the low spot of the shop here is ezekiel hey ezekiel what's up ezekiel what's up bro what's up dog anyway we're going to uh be painting these guys next with we're going to do the dry brush technique so we're just going to blast these guys with air get all the dust and all you know, sawdust and charcoal and whatever <coughs> off of there. And now we're going to do the paint process. <clears throat> so if you really want to see that, stick around. Oh, thanks for watching this far. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Smash that notification bell. And this is where it all begins. So I'm taking each one of these 
um, and I'm giving them a coat of latex I'm spraying out of a pot sprayer and uh, I have exhaust fans and uh, everything's you know a fan behind me to help move the paint spray out and uh, I'll tell you what we were making pretty good time on these Pam just hands them to me and I just spray them and there you go there's the group let's get her done so Well, might as well start throwing some color on these things. Which color? Which color? I don't know. Pam, what do you think? I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. Let's make a green one. <laughs> Let's make a black one. Let's make a blue one. Let's make a purple one. Let's try it. Let's try everything. And uh, we did. We did plenty. We even did some bumblebee ones with different types of stripes. And uh, I think this one here is uh, HD, short for Harley Davidson. And uh, those two were the last two that I did. I didn't want to show the whole me painting everything. You'll see them in the end. But uh, yeah, I just decided to throw a little HD uh, lettering on there just to, you know, there's a lot of guys like me that own Harleys that think they're cool, so why not? I think they're cool. Maybe someone else out there will think they're cool. And we, as you can see, that little round thing underneath the shelf there, that that is uh, an exhaust fan and it's humming and I also use I have a disconnected furnace that just filters air as well so I just put a filter in there and that's a great job just get those cheap filters and it really helps it draws in a lot of air but in the back I can see on every one of these I put my signature on every single one and then just the year which was or which is 2023 it's not the 2024 yet but we're getting there I guess that wasn't the last one I think I just took them out of sequence like it's gonna matter anyway so uh, I did a little cannabis leaf uh, at least a poorly drawn painted one on there just for you know there's a lot of people out there that like that kind of stuff you know it's not necessarily for me but hey to each their own we got a See, see, look, see, and that is a snowflake. Not the guy with the paintbrush. The he's actually, yeah. Well, never mind. And my wife wanted me to do some pink ones, and I was like, no, it is not happening. Not on my watch. Well, well, well. It appears we have reached the end of the video. Oh, thanks everybody for watching up to this point. There is the, the product of my labor, my labor of love. So we have all these little gnomes and they're all a little different. Some of them are a lot different. And then we have like, sort of like a gnome. I don't want to trip on this. They have sort of like a gnome right there. Great big wood spirit with an ax and some owls. Now, both of these required effort. Right? Uh, I don't like doing that. So that's why I switched over. <laughs> I, I kind of shifted gears and went to the gnomes uh, because I can get, get great satisfaction out of them. I don't get bored doing them really. I get more tired than bored. And uh, so I just carved a bunch of different ones. It's a challenge and it's kind of fun actually. Uh, but anyway, uh, the difference between the two um, is as far as for sales, obviously the gnomes are gonna go. That thing is gonna take a bit of time potentially. Someone could come in next week and get it. I don't know. It's just one of those things. But if you don't carve it, you can't sell it. That's that's kind of like my motto. But anyway, this has been a blast. Hopefully you uh, have been inspired. Or maybe you just think, what a waste of time that guy's, oh my gosh. Click, maybe, maybe you fast forward through the whole thing. Not sure. But anyways, this is Jeff Moore. And I'm the Northwoods Carver. And I hope you liked what you saw. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to smash that notification bell. And I'll see you on the next one.
that guy can carve like gnome buddy's business. Oh, <laughs> 